The key findings, I would say, so um, there was a landmark uh, phase three clinical trial. Um, it was a randomized study. Um, it was uh, published in New England Journal, I think, November of 2018. And that particular study, uh, and based on the results from that study, uh, basically the way that we treat um, our metastatic muscle and cancer patient has changed. And so um, in that study, there were two, uh, two sort of cohorts. And so um, one cohort of patient uh, received the standard of care, which is uh, a platinum-based um, combination chemotherapies, either cisplatin or carboplatin with a toposide. And then the experimental arm received um, so the standard of care chemo plus um, a PDL1 inhibitor called atezolizumab, and so the uh, the analysis, the results of that trial basically show that there was a significant, statistically significant improvement in the overall survival of patients that were treated with atezolizumab and chemotherapy, so uh, a median overall survival of approximately 12.3 months versus the control, the patients in the control arm, which had a median overall survival of approximately 10 months. And so even though this, you know, is only a uh, two months improvement, it was statistically significant. And I think uh, certainly uh, this uh, led to the uh, approval of this new chemo immunotherapy regimen uh, by the FDA for the treatment of metastatic small cell lung cancer patient in the first line setting. And so that's, that's uh, one very important study.